Okay, in this video, I will show you guys how to figure out the triple angle identities for sine and cosine. And I will also show you guys how to use one stone to kill two birds. Not the actual birds, but you know, in math. But anyway, the deal is that I am trying to figure out an expression for cosine of 3 theta in terms of just cosine theta. And likewise, I want to have an expression in terms of just sine theta for sine of 3 theta. Okay? And now you see, when we have cosine and sine, this is what we can do. We can just treat this as the complex number. This as the real part, and this as the imaginary part. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'm just saying that let's look at this as this, plus i times that. And now this is a complex number, isn't it? And we have the real part, and this is the imaginary part. And the cool thing is that if you pay attention to the coefficient of theta, and they are both equal to 3 right here in this case, this is in fact equal to the complex number cosine theta plus i sine theta, and then we raise this to the third power. And this is true by the Moivre's theorem. And now what we can do is, on the right-hand side, we can just multiply this out and then collect all the real parts together. Likewise, collect the imaginary parts as well. And then, you know, the left-hand side, this is the real part. It has to be the same, the real part on the right-hand side. Similarly, the imaginary part on the left-hand side, it has to be the same as the imaginary part on the right-hand side. So that's the strategy. So now, let's just work this out. To multiply this out, you know, this is the third power. Binomial theorem says, we can just take the first term and then raise that to the third power. And then, we add it with 3 times the first term to the second power. So I'll put down cosine squared theta and then the second term to the first power. So let me just write it down as i sine theta, like that. And then we'll continue. We add it with 3 still, so it's 1, 3, 3, 1, okay? And we will have the first term right here to the first power, so that's cosine theta. And then the second term, square. So I will have i square here, and then sine square theta, like that. And lastly, I will have to cube this term, right? So we will be adding with i to the third power, sine to the third power, theta, like that. And now, we just have to collect the terms. And you see, this is your 1, 3i, and then this is 3i squared. And this is pretty much negative 3 now, because i squared is equal to negative 1. And this is i to the third power, and as we know, i squared is equal to negative 1, so i to the third power is equal to negative i. You just multiply both sides by i. So this is just minus i as well, right here, right? So we can simplify that. Now, let's put down all the real parts first. That's the parts that they don't have the i. So let me write down the cosine to the third power theta first. And what else? Well, this is just the minus 3, right? The i is gone, right? Because i squared is negative 1. So we'll put down this part, and that's minus 3. And then we will have the cosine theta, sine squared theta, right? So this right here is the real part. And then this term and that term, let me just underline these two now. These two have the i, right? So let's put down plus, and let's put on the i on the outside. And then for this right here, I will just have the 3 cosine squared, because the i is out already, theta like this. And then we have the sine theta here. And this right here, I will just have the minus, and the i is out already, sine to the third power theta, like that. So as you can see, on the left-hand side, we have cosine 3 theta, as the real part. And then on the right-hand side, this right here is the real part. So that means they have to be equal, right? And then this right here is an imaginary part. That's sine of 3 theta. And that suggests us that sine of 3 theta has to be equal to this, right? And as I told you guys earlier, I want to write sine, I want to write cosine of 3 theta in terms of just cosine theta. So this part, sine squared theta, it's not really being invited. But it's okay because we can use the identity 1 minus cosine squared theta to help us out. Likewise, I want to write sine of 3 theta to in terms of sine theta. That means 
cosine square theta in here, it's not being invited, so let me replace that by 1 minus sine square theta, like that. So, let me just write this down for you guys. We will have cosine 3 theta, this will be equal to, well, we're just looking at this, right? And just do this carefully, you see, we multiply this and that, this and that. We have cosine theta, sorry, cosine third power theta, and then minus 3 cosine theta times this. So let me just put this down. Cosine third power theta, and then you distribute this to that, so it's minus 3 cosine theta, and then minus 3 cosine theta times that, it's plus 3 cosine to the third power theta now, right? And then you can combine like terms because this and that we can combine. So in other words, cosine 3 theta is equal to 4 cosine to the third power theta and then minus 3 cosine theta. So this is for cosine, right? This is the triple angle identity for cosine. And then let's put down the one for sine. So let me just put it down right here. Sine of 3 theta is equal to, well, I'm going to distribute, so do this carefully. We have this 3 and sine, and then I'm going to kind of just distribute, distribute like that, okay? Together. It's like jumping into the swimming pool. But anyway, 3 sine theta times 1 is just 3 sine theta, and then 3 sine theta times negative sine squared theta is minus 3 sine to the third power theta, right? And lastly, we have another one, minus sine to the third power theta. And finally, we see that sine of 3 theta is equal to combine like terms. And let's just put this down first. So we will have minus 4 sine to the third power theta, and then plus 3 sine theta. So they are really similar, isn't it? And hopefully you guys like this approach. And of course, there's also a more traditional approach for doing this. You can just look at cosine of 3 theta as cosine of 2 theta plus theta, and then you can break it apart, right? If you want to see that approach, I will have the links to those videos in the description for you guys. But anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. And as always, that's it.